In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to piece two concepts together to make a Madden 23 money play. We're gonna be in the Colts playbook today. The reason we're in the Colts playbook is for this play, Bunch Trail. It also has one of the best quick snap formations in the game in the tight slots halfback week. So this offensive playbook is very versatile. If you wanna get my entire Colts offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So the play we're gonna be taking a look at today is the bunch trail concept. And we're gonna show you how to pair uh, multiple concepts together uh, to kind of create, uh, create a Madden 23 money play. So here's how we're gonna do this. So basically the idea with this um, is it does depend a little bit on like where you are at on the field. For this setup, we're gonna wanna be on the left hash. It's gonna give us the best uh, spacing possible uh, to run this play. So. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, one of the best concepts in Madden 23 is bench. And so we're gonna create a bench concept on the right side. So we're gonna have this little bench concept right here with AJ Green and Christian Watson. We also have this little trail route. Now, this trail route is one of the best routes in the game as well. And then we're gonna pair this with a running back out route, and we're gonna create a high low on both sides of the field with this C route on the outside apprentice. The beauty of this concept is it attacks man coverage really, really well, but it also attacks a lot of space, um, whether it be to the sidelines or over the middle of the field. Field. And so this is super, super critical. So essentially we've combined the bunch concept with the trail concept. And then on the left side, we kind of have like a high low, if you will. Um, I think this is kind of like a corner strike style uh, of concept from Matt, from you know previous Maddens, but this also uh, you could you could say this is a curl flat concept. You could say this is kind of a bench concept if you think about it, because the running back is running the out route and the Carmichael is basically running a corner route. Um, it's just known as a C route. So, anyways, if they are off man coverage like this right here, this out route to the right side. If you have short out elite, it is really effective at attacking man coverage to the right side of the field. So this forces a couple different adjustments. One of the adjustments it's going to force is it's going to force them to play press man-to-man -man coverage. Now, when they play press man-to-man -man coverage, this is going to allow this corner route. Typically, that's crazy. My trail route just turned into a punch route. Thank you, Madden 23. Um, but it's going to basically force uh, certain different things. So one of the things that's also really interesting is a lot of people like this adjustment right now. Um, this is known as the scissor adjustment, basically, and they'll blitz from it. The beauty of this with putting the running back on an out route if you don't put the running back on an out route it'll double team the solo receiver but if you put the running back on an out route what will happen is this c route will have a shot at being able to have outside leverage to the sideline just like that right there if you have short out of lead or if you have route tech um, that can be very helpful for attacking that coverage so a couple different things that we can do with this um, now this is going to leave again a press man-to-man -man, a true press man-to-man uh, -man -man situation uh, can cause some problems as you can see the random bumping but typically this corner route to Christian Watson is going to be able to attack uh, man coverage well to the outside and then this is going to start to cause them to have to adjust right so are they going to go guard the which corner route are they going to go guard how are they going to defend if their user runs to either sideline it doesn't really matter this trail route's the most consistent man beater in the game as you can see right here just short in a lead on that tight end really cooks man well so not only does this play um, attack man coverage well but this play actually is pretty decent uh, against different types of zone coverage one of the most popular types of zone coverage we're getting right now is essentially a double flat or a double Mabel coverage. It's what people will go to to try to stop this. Because if we think about it, the underneath flat will stop the out route. The deeper flat will stop the corner route. But the problem is this out route is gonna pull the zones and you can throw this in this little pocket. Now, if they have mid zone knockout, okay, it can play it a little bit. Uh, but typically you should be able to throw this uh, again, depending on how their uh, abilities are set up defensively this corner route. Um, another thing that I like to do with this is motion this guy out. I think that this is a super underrated piece. When you motion this guy out, it just creates a lot more space to throw this in that little pocket. The other thing is, let's talk about match coverage for just a second. A lot of people like to utilize match coverage uh, to slow this concept down, and it will slow this concept down. Um, what you'll see here on the right side is basically they will double team that corner route. The beauty is we can easily adapt this concept just a, just slightly and it makes it super, super difficult. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to match and we're gonna show you two different versions of it. The first one is just standard match. When you motion this guy out and let him set his feet here, it's gonna create a different type of defense of check 
and you see how that corner round on the right side was wide open. Now, I got screamed at. I don't know how I got screamed at like that. Um, but that corner round on the right side will be open. Now, if you're playing dollar, um, this is even more effective, right? If you're playing dollar, this is even more effective. But essentially, this out route will suck that quarter down, and then you can throw this with an outside pass lead. And if they don't have deep out zone knockout, that's gonna be wide open. Now, the other thing is, this is a super popular adjustment. Um, real quick, just a quick little side note. If you wanna bomb match coverage, call verticals, put this guy on a streak against cover four quarters, it's super, super good. And if they, I mean, typically they won't even play it like they did there. Um, but what it forces, what the, the point is, what that forces uh, the opponent to do is it forces them to put um, that player on a deep half. So when they have to put that player on a deep half and we motion this guy out, you're going to notice this is essentially a glorified cover two shell in terms of how they're going to play it. And you can throw that to the sideline. I got to freeform that outside a little bit more, uh, but you can throw this to the sideline against this coverage. So this is a really versatile concept um, that again, it just spaces the field really, really well uh, on both sidelines. And it just, if you can freeform well, like right there, that's kind of the idea, get that way to the sideline. That is a really, really, good play against cover two uh, and it's good against cover two in general it's also good like I said against the the match coverage because match coverage is going to basically um, turn into cover two uh, here's like a traditional cover two you'll see here I could throw that out route but if that corner sits on the out route then what you want to do is you want to throw the corner route so this is again this is traditional cover two with a vert hook if they do have a vert hook then they're going to be able to stop like that snap throw but you can freeform that down outside just like you did and as you can see it puts uh, a lot of stress on that safety to be able to get outside there so not only is it good against that but it's also good against like just standard uh standard uh, drop zone especially with this motion out out route so if that corner on the right side does not uh suck down to guard the out route you can typically throw this with a free form outside and you see how i can just take that easy yardage five yards to the sideline super easy now the same this also isolates cover two on the left side so let's say they're playing cover two uh on the left side and you can run this you'll see here you get a high low that c route you can kind of cut that off i got a possession catch there but you can kind of cut that off on that sideline the other thing though that I, I don't want you to sleep on here is if they're not playing hard flats on both sides this does such a good job because you can just throw your out route on the right or you can even throw your out route on the left you see if he climbs with that solo receiver then my out route on the left side is going to be wide open now what this is going to force people to have to do is it forces them to have to hard flat when they start to have to hard flat things get wide open because now there's a lot of space in the middle of the field and also what you can do here is you can kind of highball this and basically ag it if they don't have a ko in that example i did have a ko if they don't have mid zone knockout on that corner um that's going to be pretty hard now another thing that you're going to see like this is more of a dollar style but if you are getting some stuff like this where it's like dollar this is gonna be a little bit more of a window where you can just kind of cut it off uh, on that on that C route. So that's just something to note. Um, obviously wasn't working too well there, but again, that's a read and you can kind of you know test that out and practice that. But another thing about this hard flat deal is cover three hard flat. What it does on the right, you'll see here, um, see how I can kind of cut this off before he gets to that player. Now that was absolutely crazy. But I can kind of cut that corner off uh, before he gets to the third. I got to ag that. But if I ag on that, um, it becomes pretty solid. So the point is just to show that now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to put more zones to the sideline. And when they do that, um, you're going to see, it's like right here, just high ball, ag it. You see I can throw it right in that one, little window. Um, but what, what's going to happen is then, they're going to have to, you know, put more coverage, right? Put more coverage, put more coverage, put more coverage. So now they're going to have to have a man coverage, right? Maybe they have to kind of come over here and help out on the solo receiver. And so what this does is it just puts so much stress on the sideline that this little trail route, it looks like it's going to the sideline. It looks like a vertical wheel or something like that. Then what you can do is as long as he doesn't die like that, he's going to be wide open over the middle. Uh, I guess you could just scramble right at the middle. But basically, once they start to kind of cover the sidelines well, um, you know, then you're going to be able to throw throw your tight end trail route. And again, it does depend a little bit on how the user defends this. If the user runs to the running back, which is pretty typical, um, then there's going to be this little pocket right there. 
that's going to be wide open for this. So this is how you combine two concepts into one uh, to create a really effective Madden 23 money play. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, head down to the description and go join the Patreon. $10 will get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks.